Madam Pro Vice Chancellor, um, the Dean of International Programs, the Vice Dean of Graduate Studies, good morning. Um, good morning to all the participants at this forum and to our francophone on an English speaking participant. Let me say francophone. I would say bonjour à tous. As announced, my presentation is on English proficiency um, at the Language Center, UG Language uh, Center. And for the sake of our francophone students, I've written the text in full so that you can clearly follow the uh, presentation. The picture that you see or the image that you see is a language center. It is located in the central part of the University of Ghana campus. It is bordered by Legon Hall, history and English departments, um, sociology department, and the Department of Linguistics. The University of Ghana Language Center has been offering English proficiency services since it was established in 1970. Its English language proficiency unit functions as the international arm of the Language Center in that it is exclusively responsible for courses offered international students and expatriates. Our students usually enroll in the program for some functional uh, purpose, that is to improve um, their skills, could be reading, um, listening skills, um, speaking, writing, or to raise their proficiency level from let's say elementary to intermediate or from intermediate to upper intermediate or from upper intermediate to advanced level. Our students are mainly drawn from neighboring Francophone countries like Togo, La Côte d'Ivoire, in fact, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Benin, and also from as far as South Korea and China each year. Now we've also had students from um, Equatorial Guinea and certain parts of North Africa. So a typical English proficiency class can boast of diversity. This also gives the students the opportunity to appreciate people from other countries or other cultures and learn to understand and interact with them. So that's our students profile. I would now like to move on to, okay, so we have, I've got pictures here of, uh, you know, a typical English proficiency class. You can see the diversity here. Yeah? There's another picture uh, of them. In fact, we can describe it as beautiful diversity. Now, with respect to our staff capacity, the center spares no effort or cost in terms of its manpower. In this regard, the University of Ghana, in the teaching of its international or expatriate students by using virtually the full strength of our academic staff, all of whom are experienced lecturers with advanced degrees. In fact, the average years of teaching experience for the older faculty is about 25. And I would like to share with you some of the pictures of our teaching staff. This is my good self. I have about 30 years of teaching experience when it comes to English language proficiency. And I must add academic writing or English for academic uh, purposes. We also have uh, David, Dr. David Ako Odoe, who is a senior lecturer with about 30 years of teaching experience. Then we have Dr. Nana Majiman with about 15 years of teaching experience. And Dr. Charles C. Asante 
with about with over, I must say, 30 years of teaching experience. And then Mr. Alote with about 25 years of teaching experience. We also have younger faculty with an average of about uh, five years of teaching experience. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Now, one of our key facilities in the language center is a Sanaku Lab 100, which can handle up to 30 students at a time. Now, the major feature of this digital facility is that all students in the class can speak simultaneously without distracting each other. The teacher can also monitor students individually or in small groups, depending on the nature of the task. Indeed, the UG Language Center is one of the few institutions in Ghana with this digital facility. And of course, another facility that we have, which the Pro Vice Chancellor has talked about, is access to Wi Fi. At any corner of the language center building, you would have access to free Wi Fi. Now, let me now move on to, and these are pictures of our language lab. Those of you who have not seen a language lab before, um, this is the Sonaco Lab 100 um, system. It is a fully sound proof um, room and these are students in the language um, laboratory right now our certificate our english proficiency program uh, may be classified into two we have the certificate in english proficiency program which is a regular program and then we also have special courses the Certificate in English Proficiency Program comprises five distinct courses at the intermediate um, level. It means that if you are a beginner, you have difficulties in this program. The aspects are writing skills, one and two, that is in the first and second semester, reading and comprehension, one and two, um, listening and speaking skills, one and two, structure of the English language is essentially grammar and literature in uh, English. Apart from the regular certificate in English proficiency program, we also have special courses. Now, the category of special courses offered by the Language Center covers a whole range of tailored courses which are run at the request of sister centers and departments of the University of Ghana for the international students. So for example, we have run courses for WACI, that's the West African Center for Crop Improvement. We've also run courses for WACPIP, that's the West African Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens. And they were in the news recently because of advances they had made in COVID-19 um, research. We also run special courses for multinational corporate organizations and embassies for their employees. And of course, we've not ignored self-financing private um, individuals. Uh, if you have the wherewithal, you will be, a course will be tailored to your needs. Now, a typical course may include two or three components taught by two or three lecturers for up to three months. But remember that there's no award of a former university certificate at the end of the course. You'll be given either an, uh, a testimonial or an attestation, uh, which describes the level of English proficiency uh, that you have attained after the short program or after the special course. Now, one of the major attractions of the English proficiency program is the excursion dimension. The unit 
periodically organizes excursions to places of interest where there is plenty of opportunity for real life personal interactions in English during the bus trip, as well as with members of the public at the excursion um, site. Here we have our students at the Kakum National uh, Park. And there's another picture of the students uh, doing a canopy uh, walk um, from those dizzying um, heights. I've not had the courage to participate in it, but the students are all very enthusiastic about some of these excursions. Now, after each excursion, individual and group experiences are kept alive through follow-up discussions, debriefing, and in-class um, activities. Now, looking into the immediate uh, future, as part of the university's desire to expand international student participation in its degree programs, it is offering two brand new English programs designed to help newly admitted international students to clear the hurdle of the English language requirement for studying at the University of Ghana. So we have two of them, the pre-enrollment academic English program and B, the pre-enrollment basic English proficiency uh, program. And entry into each of the programs will be determined by language placement uh, tests. So for example, one Soraya Diallo asks about the requirements for getting her son into the University of Ghana uh, business school uh, to read finance. I think apart from the baccalaureate that the son possesses, we'll have to do an English language placement uh, test. Then based on his performance, would we'll say, well, he can proceed straight into the program or he has to do uh, a pre-enrollment academic English program. Now, let me go to describe the nature of the program. Now, the first program is what we are calling the pre-enrollment academic English uh, program. Now, this program is intended for newly uh, admitted degree students who obtain an intermediate or high level score on the placement test. Now, at the intermediate level, we expect that you should be able to read complex text and be able to do some level of expository uh, writing. That is what we are referring to. Now, these students, the students who are enrolled onto the pre-enrollment academic English uh, program, will be required to study in an eight week academic English program to enhance their grammar, study skills, reading and writing in the months of July and August, proud to uh, their enrollment into their uh, regular uh, programs or their programs of choice. Now, on the successful completion of this eight week program, the students will proceed to start their degree program in September. So that is the first option. We do the placement test. We determine your level, okay? And uh, if you are at the intermediate level, because we want to bring you to an upper intermediate level or advanced level, we would organize an eight week program um, for you before you enroll onto the degree program that you have applied for. Then we have option two. Option two is for weaker students, okay? So students who obtain below an intermediate level course on the placement test will be given the option of studying in an eight week basic English proficiency program in July and August prior to enrolling in a compulsory one year certificate of English proficiency program in September. So whilst in the first option, after eight weeks, you can go straight 
into your degree program. With the second option, you do a language proficiency program for eight weeks, which then qualifies you to do the certificate in English proficiency program for intermediate students, after which you can move on to enroll into your degree um, program. Interested participants can go to the International Programs Office, uh, sorry, website um, to apply by online. Now, to conclude, I would like to raise just four points in relation to why study at Eugene. Point number one is that we have well qualified and experienced lecturers. Point number two is that we have modern facilities. Point number three is that we have unique activities that promote effective language learning. And point number four, we have tremendous, we have created tremendous opportunities for cross-cultural exchange. So we look forward to welcoming you to the University of Ghana at Legon in the near future. Thank you very much.